Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today to take a first look at this, the brand new Zinger 21C. Now this car has inline tandem seating, one seat in front of the other. It has the world's most power dense engine. It is a hybrid, but with a 2.88 litre twin turbo V8, making 1,250 horsepower. We're going to take a look around at a special opportunity here in a studio out in Los Angeles, ahead of the reveal, to take a first look and go through all of the details of the new Zinger 21C. Let's start then by taking a walk around to go through this car in front of us, something totally and completely new. Now this is looking stunning and the paint color actually is called Blue My Mind and it quite literally does when you take this thing in. Now we're looking at the Zinger 21C here in the track specification. You can see that with all of the aggressive aero, but what is completely unique and special about this is the seating configuration to be sat in the center with the additional seat sitting behind. Because because of that, it means it is incredibly narrow, it means it will be an amazing driving experience. And I imagine with almost 800 kilos of downforce and 1250 horsepower, that is exactly what this car is going to be. Of course, it is made entirely from carbon fiber, from the lightest weight components and materials that could possibly be used in each and every aspect. As you take a look around this car, we will take a look at the other car afterwards, has the track pack, which includes the splitter, the side flicks, the side skirts, and that wing at the rear. The standard car would look a little bit cleaner. We'll also take a look at that as well, the interior too, because the track package comes with a number of other things. For example, the rear seat delete, the second seat delete, to be entirely dedicated for purpose out on the track. Now the engine, like I said, a 2.88 litre twin turbo V8, supported by a hybrid system. You get 950 horsepower from the combustion engine, along with 300 horsepower additionally that comes from the electric motors on the front axle, so effectively a four wheel drive. Now, some of the performance numbers and statistics connected to that are a little bit crazy. For example, 0 to 62 miles an hour, 100 kilometers per hour in this car is 1.9 seconds. The top speed is 432 kilometers per hour, 268 miles per hour. It will get 0 to 300 kilometers an hour and back to 0 in just 15 seconds, and it will go 0 to 400 and back to 0 in only 29. That is undeniably quick. Now let's take a look then in a little bit more detail. This is very much about the engineering, the aerodynamics and performance. And you can see that when you just look at the car, a very, very slippery shape. Of course, you have the additional downforce at the front, but look at that bubble, the single seat configuration, the fact that you can see these arches and I'll take a step and a seat inside as well later on to see what it's like on the interior. But that is a menacing look. Of course, being at this configuration, as opposed to the more traditional side-by-side -side seating, means Means that it's a very very narrow car it's only 1 meter 85 wide so more akin to a regular hatchback for example as opposed to the cars these days that are getting very very wide indeed but that will help again out on the track as you have a look around there are some really nice details and one of my favorite if we come to the rear of the car here have a look at this the laser cut carbon fiber mesh now of course you have to have mesh around every opening to prevent anything from going inside but all of this is literally lasered out from the car and fiber you can see the exposed weave back here the exhaust system the way the piping is done to be the most efficient possible actually means that it kind of crisscrosses so you'll have crisscross flames coming out of the back of the car when it's being driven you can see the bodywork has this integrated spoiler itself over the rear deck above the engine bay then you have the track pack of the wing fitted here giving a little bit more downforce so up to 790 kilos in total this color scheme though the blue with the slightly bronze wheels looks lovely now coming to check out the interior in a little bit more detail you will notice one incredibly long door the longest and narrowest production car door in fact by the way the engine is the most power dense production engine ever inside the car a few displays on the dashboard the squared off steering wheel the infotainment alongside it carbon fiber seat their own dedicated seat pads inside and this is a production car we're looking at here if you're worried about it being claustrophobic have a look up top glass canopy as well. This is so different, I think, from anything that I've taken a proper look at before. It is time then for me to take a step inside to see what the seating position is going to be like. But just before we do, we also have this bag that comes as part of the track package, which I'm going to show you very shortly. 
So, let's get this opened up. There is a button just here. If I press that, the door will release. We can open it up, and you have that incredibly long dihedral door. Now, of course, it's a bit of a technique to climb in. I've had one quick test run, but let me uh, do this. I sit on the, on the door sill, and basically, you swing your legs in, and slide on in, and wow, this is cool. So, let me take the camera and show you the interior of the 21C and look at this view forward. Look at how you can see the wheel arches sat bang in the center, not claustrophobic at all thanks to how much glass there is here inside the cabin. In front of us we have this squared steering wheel, the dashboard display right behind and then the infotainment to the side. If I press the button just here to start the car, wake it up, to turn on the displays you can see on the dashboard we've got the rev counter running across the top, all of your other bits of information. Over to the left we've got the driving modes, these can be toggled using the selectors on the steering wheel, but here just to go through them as I press the different buttons you can see it changing there on the dashboard. If we go into track mode, check this out, you can go to tuning and this is where you've got a whole host of different things you can change. The boost, the pedal map, the hybrid system, transmission dampers, ride height, ABS assist. There's a lot of information in here. If we go into data, g-force chart, you've got the suspension ride heights as well. Back to home, comfort setting, lights, the seat adjustment, your climate control down towards the bottom. I always love going through these kind of things to see the different bits of information. Very, very nicely presented. And then look up front here, all of the dead space is removed. You've got the chassis components going straight through. You've got this 3D printed binnacle in front. This is an incredible place to be sat. The door mirrors out, kind of hanging way out towards the side, given how in the middle of the car that I'm actually sat at the moment. It's a very special place. You've got the grab handle here uh, to pull the door down. Wow, look at this. Look inside here. It's actually pretty comfortable as well. Obviously a firm seat. We've got harnesses currently right behind me. But this is, this would be quite something to drive in anger. And the car has done a time of 88 and a half seconds around Laguna Seca, which is very, very fast. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is really quite something. Look here, you can even see the uh, carbon mesh again, just down around the sides, you've got the door hinge mechanisms. Yeah, really, really nice. Right, let me hand the camera back so I can try and take a step to climb on out of here very quickly, which is equally a bit of a process to work out how to do it. I think I'm gonna come up, sit on, on the door sill, swing the legs out. Done, nice and easy. But let me show you what we've got here too then, inside this bag, which can mount and be held into the, uh, the back of the car. Come take a quick look at this inside here you have the matching helmet and the uh, race gloves and you could have your suit and things in here as well what i didn't do though was just to come through to press the button right here to turn it back off for the moment of course the doors look at the way they're hinged outside of that uh that mesh at the front a very very impressive piece right there so we also have one other car to go take a quick look at let's go and have a look as well as the full-on attack version with the track package that we have in the studio, we also have the second 21C here, the normal road-going variant. They are both road-legalized vehicles, this though being the car without all of the additional aerodynamic parts. Still very much an aero-based car with 250 kilos of downforce, but without the extended front splitter, the flicks around the side, the more aggressive side skirts, and of course the fixed wing at the rear. But we can take a look at the road two-seat interior configuration and also come and take a glimpse at the engine bay. Now I can't express enough how impressive the engine is. The 2.88 litre twin turbo V8, a very small and lightweight package and in fact the entire car despite having two rows of seats is only about four metres and twenty in length which is actually quite short all things considering and just how powerful it is. But this is also a bit of a work of art. The exposed carbon fibre, all of the components, the additive components that are used and the way the materials are chosen all being done at an incredible be futuristic kind of level but inside here take a look at some of the aero as well that we've got on the underside uh, of the engine bay cover and how it's all displayed and presented now the engine is mated to a seven speed synchro gearbox in the road car to a dog leg in the race or track version which gives i guess quite a different feel in terms of the drive this would be much more sanitized and comfortable as it would on the interior there are actually quite a few differences to the way the interior of this is done of course the rear rather than just being bare bones to the carbon shell has the pads wrapping around the back and also uh, at the base you can see the sound system and quite a few differences overall the driver's seat again rather than being the thin pads just on a carbon shell 
is more of a comfortable seating position, comfortable pads with the traditional seat belts as opposed to the six point harnesses, and just, well, a slightly different style and interior finish. You also have a second grab handle for the passenger that is in the rear of the car, as well as on the outside, there's also a different wheel design. Overall, you can see quite a few differences that go into that uh, and the way it looks. Back over to this car and you can see some of those differences again with the additional aerodynamic parts, the different wheels, and in particular the colour scheme of this car, which suits it spectacularly. It is just such a radically different take on a road legal track focused hypercar. This being designed, engineered and assembled out here in Los Angeles, California in the USA. And this car with that optional track package, it just looks like it's carrying intent and purpose. So 80 units in total to be built. A car that actually in terms of the doors will open on different sides to be on the curb side depending on the various different markets but road legalized homologated in the USA and just look at it something so 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 very different to take in so many details the way for example the roof canopy the cabin comes right down towards the front nose the way the body parts are shrink wrapped around all of the components inside of course creating the smallest possible package the lightest possible package as well the headlights almost give me the kind of vibe of an LMP car the way they're quite vertical out towards the flanks enhancing a little bit of the width despite how small the car actually is but the Zinger logo there down towards the front with some openings underneath for cooling for airflow to all come through the car and this well 790 kilos of downforce out of the body package you can actually see how the rear integrated spoiler actually lifts up as well how you've got airflow that comes and is managed straight through to pull the warm air out to get it away from the car as quickly as possible of course we've got some very important impressive braking performance out of this as well. Just come round towards the back. Look at how low it sits with the fins here as part of the diffuser, but with creature comforts, for example, the camera, the backup camera that you have down at the bottom. But taking in everything, this is just touching on the surface. There will no doubt be a lot more to learn and to find out. And I'm sure when this car is taken to racetracks around the world and starts putting in lap times, we're going to be fairly blown away by quite how quick you can actually get round an entire lap. For today though, I hope you've enjoyed this first look at the new Zinger 21C. 21C for the 21st century the next level of hypercar that is it for today though thank you very much for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll see you again very soon cheers <laughs>